Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Tunisian Thievery campaign in Europa Universe House 4. Right, two sieges at 28%. We just lost General Shadi Akimi. We already won that siege here though. Alright, I think that was one of my three siege guys, wasn't it? Shucks. Let's go ahead and hire another guy. 3-3-2-1, three, three, two, two, whatever is, is okay. We will grab a single infantry, appoint the new general. Pull the single infantry back off, keep the army's balance. You can't go that way, never mind. So some weirdness is going on there, let's come that way. Lost sight of the Papal State Navy, I think that it came right back and docked up in Genoa again. Poke out. Oh, there it is, it's over in Cote d'Azur. I'm so glad that that level 6 fort didn't fall for free. It was very nice of uh, Bavaria or, I don't know, Burgundy, whoever the hell it was that gave it back to me. I've noticed that uh, the Papal State's army is leaving, so we can either go for Sopron or we could try to get up into the Bavarian mountains. I think we go for Sopron. Hopefully we avoid this army. 26th, 30th, we'll pass right by him, try to knock out Hungary. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that would be my ships still being stupid. Probably just cancel all these damn navies that are being trained. Maybe that one won't be as dumb. Unfortunately, I think someone else is going to be there. Hungary just pieced out Castile. We'll see. See if it's. It looks like it's being actively sieged right now by Mecklenburg. I think Landshut would be easier to take, then we get to the capital of Bavaria, knock him out. This is the weak point now, so we should park this army in Romagna. We only have 20 war score with you, despite our occupations. Rome's worth 7. So if I could take things from you, um, I want land that's in the Genoa node for myself. Of which you own two provinces. I wouldn't mind taking these two for myself. And then we're going to feed... We're going to take Napoli for ourselves. From Castile. And then all of this... Maybe we'll take Lucania as well. So that's three, four, four provinces that I have to take. I don't think we can actually get as far in up to there. Everything else we can afford to take then... I mean, I can't go completely crazy, can I? I mean, we're already going pretty damn nuts on aggressive expansion, so... Um... Maybe we just take the coastline for ourselves and call that good. Until we run out of admin points is really the, the restriction. Which is pretty quick. From you, we take these two, which is going to cost me how much to core? If we weren't taking these, it's going to cost me... Call it 200 points to core. And then from the Papal State, we're looking at 171. So that's already like 400 points to core. That's pretty much as much as I'm going to want to take, isn't it? In theory, we could even just give more of the land to a new client state. Just give it all to the client state and uh, not even really worry too much about the Genoa node. We're making pretty good money in... Uh... And actually, can I even create a client state here? No, this happens to me every damn time. I always forget I can't create a client state here because my capital is not in the right location. Damn it. However... I could take Rome, make Rome my capital, get the autonomy immediately down to 0%. And that would put our capital in the Genoa node, and then we could just move into the Genoa node right now. And then that would allow me to create a client state. To do that though, we'd have to have 200 admin points on hand so we could immediately create the client state. So we might just stay in this war for a little while, until that is true. It'll also allow aggressive expansion to tick down a bit. In the meantime then, since we want to keep things going and we expect this war to take a while, I should probably attack over here. We can't attack Persia till 41. We are trying to integrate Armenia, it's going to take a while. Until 87. 50 some years at the current rate. There's really nothing stopping me from feeding Armenia except for his ability to core stuff. He's only got 2.68 war. Overextension. He's got a lot of war exhaustion. It's probably a bad idea to feed him land right now. 
Never mind, let's not do that then. We have a truce with Funge. No, we don't. Apparently, uh... Apparently cancelling Protectorate doesn't cause a truce, like breaking an alliance. Oh, we should definitely feed this to Southern Tunis then. I think Southern Tunis is totally ready. Why don't we swing both these armies south, and we'll take care of Funge, and we'll take care of Warsongali. I think you are also ready for some land. You have no overextension. I could feed land to Hungary, from Hungary to you. A separate piece on Hungary. Pay some diplo points for it. I'd rather not pay the dip. Hungary is in the war with uh, Castile? No. Sadly, no. I think we save that for later. Why don't we try to separate piece you instead of sieging any of your land? Alright, siege down some of the Bavarian forts. Keep the war going until we have 200 admin. That's going to take a while. Alright, Papal State, I'll glad they kill your calf. I haven't seen a 91% in a while. They usually fall so much faster. You keep that army in Rusalon. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to move it back, because I like it when the AI is like wasting time moving troops around, trying to find a location to go to. Then they sit on the fort for a second, then they just turn around. That's working out very well for me. This army needs to stay here to protect that one. You, however, can start moving into Lucca, and we can move towards these level 2 forts. One, two... Three level 2 forts over here should be very easy to take down. The Cuneo Mountain Forts, not going to be too problem problematic. Looks like the entire army can swing this way now. Or we could try to get up into Tyrol. We do have military access through France right now. Let's swap these two leaders, grab the three siege. Mahir. What? Oh, he's already doing that one. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Let's take the stronger guy-ish up to Tyrol. Let's take the slightly not as strong guy adjacent into Trent. It's a 40 stack of Papal Troops. We should probably try to engage them. If anything, this is the weak point now. You might go for that since it's flat terrain. It's only 30 stack. I could, after Lucca is gone, very quickly ferry these 32 troops over. Apparently we found some men. These are... Nuremberg, one stack, and the Papal State's got an army here. A big one. A lot of troops. He's actually engaged me as I was doing my siege. We still have the morale advantage. No tactics advantage. Combat ability, but we're getting flanked like crazy. It's gonna come down to rolls here. Mahir is only a 2-4 as well, he's not very good. But Honorius is also quite bad. Really weak rolls overall, so far on both sides. Another weak roll, wow. Followed by a 9 versus a 7. Routed their center, awesome. Our troops are glorious. Now an 11 versus a 6. 6 versus a 4. Looks like we're going to be forced to retreat from this, most likely. We'll see, it depends. Our troops are holding pretty well, actually. We might actually turn this fight into a win. Like they, It looks like they have more morale, but they're actually not engaging very well. My infantry have just now gotten routed. Nope, lots of cannons. The whole infantry front, infantry front line has just gotten routed. Okay, we came in from this way. This is our return point. We should probably retreat really far. We can't control the retreat. Just try to retreat. Down to there? Okay, that's kind of okay. I think we can make this. Yeah.
Three six is busy. Could probably pull you off. Burgundy may get a crossing penalty. They've got two maneuver. We've got four maneuver. So crossing penalty into farmlands. Forty two stack versus a thirty stack. Uh, I think we detach and reinforce here. He's locked. This will turn this into a very good fight for us. Yep, he's using a 1-3, which is effectively a 0-2 versus our 3-5. It's a significant advantage. 3,500 per day. Oh my goodness. Wow. And crushed. Burgundy and the Papal State just lost a lot of men. Grab the... I'm not sure which one. This one. Back over to here. Nice that we finally were able to engage, get that, our, that other army engaged over there. Let's grab this leader then and put him back in charge up here so we have more maneuver for the mountains. 35 war score now. Rated a fleet, that's cool. We're still losing money for the most part because we don't, un unfortunately we do not have a lot of uh, money coming in from Genoa. The Genoa node was making us a ton. How much are we making from English Channel? English Channel is 11.8. Not bad, but you know I was more. Granted, we had our pretty much our entire light fleet doing that, but... Alright. Still waiting on these guys to relocate. This guy should probably hang out in mountains. Or, or highlands of our own. Actually, we've got... Just, yeah, just one maneuver. Head back to highlands of our own territory. I wish you got full manpower recovery in vassals. The, the fact that you have to retreat your own territory to avoid this reinforcement rate penalty is, is uh, I don't know, it just seems like in your own subjects you shouldn't have any penalties. The heavies are coming out, yep, yeah, about 3-4 months till the heavies are done. So this new army can come here to reinforce that one. And these two guys are nice and strong together. And we are working on the Tyrol Siege, which uh, is going to be valuable. It's, uh, it's a gold mine. 20 development so far. Okay. Can't knock anyone out. Burgundy and Bavaria are both very enthusiastic. We could go and siege the Burgundy capital pretty damn easily. Let's unappoint you. Get you over there. Go for that. It's a level 1 fort. No, it's level 5. Never mind. Where did I just see a level 1 fort? Nowhere. Evidently. 26 day siege of Novara. Uh, this pleases me. Papal State's War Exhaustion is going to be going up like crazy since we have so many occupations going on right now. Would have loved to have been able to get to that Bavarian capital, but we're going to come in from Tyrol. After Tyrol's down... No, after Tyrol's down I'll have to go to one of these two. But still, Tyrol might be enough to knock him out, and I don't want anything from him, so... Just going for like war reps or something would be good. Aggressive expansion looks how right now? It's getting up there. Clearly, France will join the coalition as soon as we do this peace deal. So we probably should be ready to fight France. In fact, we should attack whoever joins the coalition. You know, use the Imperialism CB instead of letting them use the coalition CB. And just immediately attack the coalition as it forms. To do my peace deal with the Papal State, I actually only need 19 war score, don't I? So we could, we could actually peace out right now. Why continue the war then? Do I... Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't I would mind getting some money from Burgundy. Let's see if we can finish these two sieges first. Not going to take too much longer. Plus, I don't have the coring points anyway. I need... That's right. I need 200 admin before I can do this piece. Don't let me forget that. That's why we're holding on to the war. Troops are in position to attack Warsongali and Funj. I don't even think we need a leader down here, do we? 
That guy, that guy, and that guy should all be there. This guy, I think we just retreat. Back to here. And we'll use this guy down here. That takes care of that war. <laughs> Relatively straightforward. Yeah, we've already won this one. I don't think we can get to Nice. Yes, we can. Never mind. Very solid. Very good sieging ability right now. I love innovative offensive. So strong. Having those faster siege chicks and the guaranteed siege pips is just amazing. Unfortunately, we had a disease outbreak here. 26, I mean, this war has been going on for, like, no time at all. I don't think my diplomat is, oh, no, my diplomat is home, but. Yeah, we do need to occupy everything if we want to give this to people. I'm going to just give it directly to Southern Tunis so we don't have to worry about being at peace. Siege guy involved. Hoping for that thing to fall soon. Another disease outbreak. Wow. Looks like we lost our military access here. Whoever it was that we pieced out was the one that was giving it to us. Uh, let's see. New Tunis. Tariff efficiency is at 25%. Might as well just take it. Did I click the wrong button? Oh no, it just didn't update instantaneously. Alright, fair enough. Finish another core. Here come our heavies. That's ten more heavies. Oh, it's uh, November of 33. I totally missed the January of 33 raid coasts again. Shoot. Well, uh, we can go up to there. That's those three. Now we need to raid here. Let's see if we can get... Uh, I think we've already done Asturias. Yeah. And we own all this, so there's just, like, these three provinces now. You're going to be there by the end of the month, so then we can just immediately go back to privateering. Wait till the 30th. Back to privateering in Sevilla. We need to privateer in here. I've caught one of my navies. My heavies. Shoot, no, not my heavies! You idiots, why would you path this way? I'm in through the Gulf of Gabes. Try to avoid being a dummy. That's going to sink those three heavies, like, immediately, because they're just so stupid that they... I did it. It's my fault. Fine. Whatever. Three heavies down the drain. 150 ducats. God. Heavies die so damn easily. You shouldn't die that easily. The AI is obnoxiously good at hunting them down. Oh, I see you've trained some ships that uh, any player would never notice, but uh, here. I will instantly deploy troops from anywhere in the world to find your... Uh, deploy my navy from anywhere in the world to find your navy. Because I know where everything is, because I'm a cheating bastard AI. Well, that's not good. Greek Separatists, we should take care of that. This guy is not necessary down here.
Okay, transfer this to Southern Tunis and Southern Tunis. Somehow he managed to get 480 gold. I don't think this fort's really necessary anymore. Now that we control all this land. A border fort on you is not even necessary either. It's a good location though. One, two, three, four, five provinces that it borders. I like the coastal fort better. Over there. Let's be honest, if we're actually having Suez ever get sieged down, we're in some serious trouble here. I think we get rid of some of these now. Save the money. Valencia borders 1, 2, 3, 4 versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Marcia is technically better and it's higher level. But this is an estuary. 29 development versus 23. They're both pretty good fort locations. I guess we'll keep both of those. No real issues with unrest down here. I like how this blocks this area, and I like, uh, we don't need this one, but I like, I like zoning, controlling that. I should have probably maybe kept Damascus there as well. But if I'm going to have a fort here, I'd rather it be in uh, Nablus. Like if they're going to come through here, I'd rather that they're forced either into the mountains or into this province here. Like I think Gaza, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Gaza would be a good location for a fort. Nablus has better, more building slots, though. I'll have a level one fort here. Just for the zone of control. All right. Um, again, we can do this peace seal. We just need some more admin points, and we're trying to peace people out. I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. Next episode, we'll end this war. I'm still kind of pissed that I lost some heavies. We're back up to ten total. And uh, eventually, we're never going to ever have to deal with uh, navies being bastards again. Eventually. For now, take a break here. I'll see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.